you guys, it's Susie from HeyGrillHey.com and today we are keeping it simple and delicious. I'm teaching you my tips and tricks and methods for making perfect grilled baked potatoes. Maybe it's hot, you don't wanna turn in your oven. Maybe you just really love eating crunchy skin on a baked potato and nice fluffy potato insides. Either way, this method is gonna blow your mind. It's gonna be the best baked potato you've ever had. So let's do it. We're utilizing a two-step cooking process for these baked potatoes. That means I need to get my grill preheated. I'm going to be utilizing two-zone cooking today, so I'm gonna be using my gas grill, but this process also works if you have a pellet grill, it works on charcoal, it's very versatile. So you just want your potatoes to cook on indirect heat between 350 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit. A little windy. So on my grill, I'm gonna turn two of the burners on to medium-high and leave one of the burners off. If you're on a pellet grill, that's already indirect, so all you have to do is set your temperature to 400 degrees. So these two are on high. This one is off completely. This side is where our potatoes are gonna go to start. Close the lid, let the temp come up. While our grill preheats, we need to prep our potatoes. I just have four medium to large russet potatoes that have been scrubbed. Uh, this timing is based on potatoes this size. If you have those like giant four pound potatoes, it's obviously gonna take a little bit longer. Small potatoes are gonna cook quicker. So just keep that in mind. Medium potatoes are the way to start. These have been washed and dried. I'm gonna set them in the center of a heavy duty piece of tin foil. I find that heavy duty foil works best on the grill because it helps kind of diffuse the direct heat from the grill to give us a more even cook on our potatoes. Then we're just gonna drizzle with some olive oil, season with salt and pepper, and then wrap it up in the foil. This brings back so many memories. <laughs> when I was a kid, my parents used to host a Christmas dinner every year, and it was always prime rib and baked potatoes. And the perfect job for a kid, let me tell you, is wrapping 40 baked potatoes in foil. <laughs> that was my job. Reminds me of Christmas. Every year, leading up to the holiday dinner, wrapping potatoes. Our grill's right up between 375 and 400 degrees, so I'm gonna put these potatoes right on the indirect heat side of the grill. Now these are gonna sit over here on the indirect heat side for about an hour until they're ready for the next step, but I am gonna come out at 30 minutes and I'm gonna rotate them. Because we have the heat coming from this side, I wanna make sure that they're cooked evenly. So I'm just gonna flip them at the 30 minute mark and let them keep going. Oh, can I wait, add one more thing? You can do whatever you want. Okay, one more thing. Because we have some nice high heat going on this side, if you wanna throw something else on to cook while your potatoes are cooking, you can absolutely do that. I just don't recommend doing anything that requires you to open and close the lid too many times because every time you do, you're gonna lose a little bit of heat in your grill and it'll slow down the cooking process. Now our potatoes have been on for an hour, but something even more important than time, and especially important if your potatoes are a different size than mine, is cooking to temperature. And we're used to taking temperatures on meat, but a lot of people don't know that you actually have a target temperature for baked potatoes also. Now you want your baked potatoes to be in the range of 205 to 210 degrees to be totally cooked through and nice and fluffy inside. Beautiful. Let's right where we are. All right, I'm gonna use my tongs. You can also use like some heat resistant gloves if you have those to unwrap my potatoes on this indirect heat side and then transfer them over to the high heat grates. And you do want to uh, be sure to reuse this foil because we don't like wasting um, when, we, when we don't have to. So my best recommendation is just to Crumple it up into a nice little ball and then uh, throw it at your cameraman. 
Yeah. You didn't catch it, Todd? You didn't see that coming? I didn't see that coming. You did coming. not see that coming. Did you think I was gonna give some magical tip about using? <laughs> yeah, like cleaning the grill grates or something. Now really we're just looking to crisp up the skin on the outside, impart a little bit of flavor, some nice crunchy, crispy texture, and it's just gonna take a couple minutes per side. These look beautiful. I mean, they're potatoes. <laughs> so they look like brown lumpy potatoes. But they're really good looking potatoes. They look uh, fluffy and the skin is kind of separated from the fleshy potato insides. My mouth is watering. I love a baked potato. You want your potato skin to actually get like nice and golden brown and fluffy. And because of that olive oil on the outside, it's almost gonna look like a fried potato, the way that skin gets crispy. All right, I'm calling it. Now you can serve up your grilled baked potato however you like them. My favorite is just with a little bit of butter and some fresh green onions, but sour cream. Stuff these maybe with like some pulled pork, a uh, little bit of some chili perhaps. Oh my gosh, the options are endless. I wish you guys could like hear and feel the texture of this skin snapping under the knife and then the buttery smooth texture of the actual inside of the potato. There's nothing like it. I used to always throw away the skin of the baked potato because it was just nothing. It was just papery nothingness to me. But these are seasoned and grilled. And I gotta tell you, the skin of these baked potatoes are even better than the insides. I like to keep my baked potatoes simple, so I just have some really yummy, salted, grass-fed, uber-rich butter. Uh, some fresh green onions sliced on top and just watching that butter melt into the potatoes fountain <laughs> inside my mouth right now. I'm so excited. Mm. It's so simple. You guys, this is a baked potato. It should not be this delicious, but it absolutely is. And of course, finished off with a piece of this yummy, crispy grilled skin. Absolutely bomb, perfect side dish, or if you wanna fill it up, a perfect main dish for an easy weeknight dinner. I hope you guys give this one a try and I hope you love it because that's my whole goal is to help you make better barbecue so you can feed the people you love and become a backyard barbecue hero. We'll catch you next time.